For folks who don't know, let's start with this. For folks who don't know, what is a CA layer and the family of CA layers and why is it so important? Yeah, uh, so CA layer is the fundamental object of the core animation framework. And uh, basically the important thing about it is that every UI view is backed by CA layer. So CA layer is sort of the simpler, lower level version of UI view um, that just does not handle uh, like responder UI, that is not a part of the responder chain because it's not a subclass of UI responder. So it doesn't handle uh, user interactions. Um, but other than that, that's what handles UI views sort of, I guess, appearance. I seem to remember, I think you might have deleted it, um, Jeff Nadeau from the Coco team at Apple tweeting that he thought the single greatest mistake of UIKit was having every view backed by a CA layer. Because, mm. of course, in Mac land, this was never the case. It was never, not until very recently was CA layer, you know, encouraged or enabled for these views. You choose it by hand and it would usually screw up your layouts completely because things are being rendered where they shouldn't be because CA uh, coordination was kicking in and doing things that were unexpected. So CA layer has been there in iOS since day one, right? It was, I think, uh, coordination was built for iOS, I think, originally. Uh... Was it? Uh, so I don't know. I don't know who built it. I, th <laughs> I, think, built I think it was. I think it was. I think it was released to macOS first, but it was designed for mm -hmm. iOS and then shipped oh, on okay, macOS because yeah. it was public at the time. I think it was like macOS Tiger or something had it in, um, and it was in iOS. But of course, iOS hadn't shipped by that point, so it was a, a surprise at that point. But so CI layer is everywhere in, in UIKit, and it's extremely, extremely fast. But I think what folks don't understand is what it's actually doing. Because your raw sort of CA layer is just like more or less some pixels, right? Here's a memory of your rendered label, your rendered image. It's literally the, the picture inside it with some properties and methods around it. But there's, there's not a lot in there, the raw CA layer. There's actually a wider family of, of CA layer mm -hmm. subclasses, isn't there? Oh, yeah. There, you know, it's like, uh, you know, like Apple's motto, like there's an app for that. It's like there's a layer for that. You can, uh, there's layers for shapes, there's shape layer, the gradient layer, the text layer, the scroll layer, transform layer, tile layer, player layer. Like there's, uh, there are so many layers and I think C layer and subclasses are really a um, underappreciated uh, object um, because it does come with a lot of cool out of the box effects. Like gradient layer is, you can use that to make really beautiful gradients and, uh, you know, shape layer allows you to, like, specify a shape of something and just draw it in that shape, you know. So beyond, like, what you can do, um, like, we're just rounding off a couple of corners, but you want to draw a heart, you can use a shape layer. You want to draw a flower, you can use a shape layer. You can, uh, you can just draw these things by hand, and then you're not re relying on, like, assets or... Um, like scaling things or anything, you can just you can just draw it directly into the screen, which I think is pretty cool. But I'm perhaps a bit of a nerd when it comes to layers. <laughs> it is cool, and I think it's so cool that we can you know almost rewind and go into more detail about some of the things you've mentioned because you've skipped over them like they're small, but they're not. They're really really awesome. CA gradient layer lets you draw any color to any color gradients, you know, any direction you'd like, different kinds of gradients, different stops of gradients, like multiple positions and so forth, transparency and similar. I remember years ago, like my very first um, uh, iOS apps, um, yeah, iOS, I was 3.2 kind of era or four maybe, I was, um, this is for iPad, I mean, uh, I was doing um, shadows using pictures. I'd draw a picture in Photoshop or something like that, of like a black to transparent yep. gradient and put that into my thing and then draw that image to you at various sizes to have shadows inside my layouts. But gradient layers do shadows brilliantly. It's a black to transparent yep. gradient. It's just right there. It's baked into CA layer. It's lightning fast and it requires no assets. It's just there. Yeah, exactly. And there are so many use cases for, even for gradient layer, like you said, shadow or you know, to make text stand out by introducing gradient over an image. That's a pretty common use case that I think really creates a beautiful and more refined effect. Or mm -hmm. if you or if you, you look at Instagram, you know, for their stories, for um, like their, for, for typing text, they, they have 
created all these really beautiful gradients from pink to yellow to purple and green. Like I'm, I would imagine that those are uh, gradient layers. Uh, I mean, I don't know how they implemented it, but um, like you can achieve such stunning visual effects with something as simple as a gradient layer and it really like it really just gives you everything to get it done yeah we also mentioned shape layer which i I wish i could get more folks to use shape layer because it's beautiful in fact in my uh, i have this free swift learning app called unwrap and when this you get its first run screen saying welcome to unwrap do you want a tour or not the logo just draws itself on the screen and that's done using a simple UI Bezier path. I have the Bezier path for my logo, which I used paint code for. Not sponsored, but there you go. And then I say, hey, <laughs> hey, shape layer, um, draw this, please. And it goes, yeah, fine. Let's draw that shape at a speed you specify. It just draws the outline for me. And you could do that. You could do it with dots and dashes. You could do it in various line thicknesses. You could do fills or not. Shape layer, again, it's like, wow, this is a really, yeah. really powerful tool just sitting there waiting to be used. Yeah, and especially when you mentioned the dots and dashes, I think that's really like a feature I don't really see people using much, but you can draw the border of, uh, like use a shape layer to draw a border in basically uh, in a, whatever pattern you want, like, a, and you specify how wide the segments are to relation to each other and even how they, like how they end, are they capped like rounded or are they square? Uh, like it's, the level of detail in some of these layers is it's so high it really is i think my favorite property on that type is um line dash phase because because you can control like i want like a long line then a long Mm -hmm. gap a long line long gap and the line phase lets you move it along creating that sort of marching ants effect you get when you select stuff in photoshop whatever you know the, the dots and dashes move around the shape you specified and it takes no code. It's like, this should be much, much harder. And it really isn't hard. In fact, the only hard thing, I think, is the fact that it doesn't work with UI views animation framework. It's all below UI view. It's all, it's mm. all core animation stuff. So you can't say, start an animation block and then do this. You want to go much more painfully, which is a frustration, but there you go. 